Howdy, how you doing? I'm Alan, and I'm going to do a review on this uh, motorbike bicycle anti-theft alarm. Remote alarm displacement sensor alarm. And uh, there'll be a link in my description box on Amazon if you want to get one. You can use it for a motorcycle or a bicycle. What we got in here? We got a little booklet. We got a remote. We got the alarm. We got some stick pads in which I may not be using. I call this a guitar pick, but you know, it's to uh, open up the case to change the battery in there. screwdriver and ties I grabbed some ties because I didn't know it had ties in it these ties may not be long enough I don't know I just find out anyway replace the battery you got a little screw right here then you take that pick and you just pry it open around the edges And this remote take a 30, 32 battery, I think it is. Okay, and let's see. Okay, it says here the maximum range is 30 meters. 20 meters, 60 meters. I don't know why they're giving a bunch of different meters. And the noise level is 113 decibels. And it says here, um, multifunction bicycle alarm with remote and secure device designed to protect your bike from theft. It typically comes with a variety of features, such as a loud alarm, motion, alarm, uh, motion detection, and remote control, among others. Can efficiently prevent theft or bicycles. This motion sensor bike alarm with vibration trigger alarm system is perfect for use in bicycle, motorcycles, electric bikes, electric scooters, doors, and windows. Seven level adjustable sensitivity and SOS emergency alarm. It has a loud alarm and adjustable volume, wireless remote control, and easy insulation and waterproof. So what I'm going to do here, I think these are too short, so I went in the garage and grabbed some longer ones. They may be long enough. I don't know. I'm going to see. I can always wrap them back up. Or not. And what you do. You got some. Slide through right there. I don't know what you call it. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, they might be long enough actually for what I, for what I need it for. So I'm gonna put both of these on here. And I gotta make sure I got this the right way. Yeah, I do. I got that the right way. Got that the right way. Yeah. Okay. Now let me walk over here. See, I'm gonna do this. 
So you can put it almost anywhere on your frame if you want. But what I'm going to do is put it under my, my seat so it won't be noticeable. Doing this one hand here. I didn't bring my camera stand down, my tripod. See, I got a seat cover on this bicycle here. And see, that won't be noticeable with all this black, too. That'll work. And I got, I'm going to put it around this metal frame here, seat frame here. And that should hold it. Okay, I had to turn the camera off so I can do this. Now I don't know if you can see that good enough. But it's right under there. I got to trim the ties off. But it's right under the seat here. It's not going anywhere. Because I got a metal bar here under the seat. And I got it tight around that. Okay, don't do like I, like I did. Um, I forgot to put the plastic tab off before I put it on the bike. So I got to need no nose pliers. And uh, pull the plastic off so the battery be working. This top one's for alarm. And this second one is for unlock. Alarm type, the bottom one there. See, I'm gonna turn the alarm on. See, you touch it and it goes off as long as you keep moving it. Now, I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna turn the alarm off. Now, when I turn the alarm on. You hear another beep says uh, it's alarm. Yeah, now, now it's alarm. It's pretty loud too. So this is what I'll be uh, 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 using. I do have a a lock on here too. But just in case, I like to be prepared. So I'm going to have a lock and an alarm on it. But in case they was able to cut the uh, lock off. I also bought this turn signal light off of Amazon. I, uh, I didn't think about doing a review on it. But anyway, it's held on with a, a rubber something like a rubber rubber band thing there is just rubber and then this is the, uh, the uh, remote control for that figure people behind me I don't want to pick my arm up especially if I'm writing fast but anyway what you do you hit the center button right here and then this middle one right here is the big button is to change the light. You got flashing light, and you got four ways, and they're off. And then these two smaller ones is your left and right turn. I'm gonna do the right turn and do left turn. And then it's in standby mode. So what you do when you're done writing, you just press it. Now, 
Now it's off. Yeah, you, you don't hold it. You just uh, press it and then it, uh, turn the standby off. I'll have a link in my, in my description for that too. I like to know when I like people to know when I when I'm going to turn when they're behind me. So I think it's going to work out pretty well. So on, click again, and off, and that's the remote. So on standby now. The remote uh, will go off by itself. Well, thanks for watching. Links to uh, both items will be in my description box. Oh yeah, this thing here is held by a, a band too, a rubber band like. So. Okay, this is a, an update on my uh, motorcycle, bicycle, anti-theft alarm. It also works for e-bikes, mopeds, and the likes. And you've probably seen my video about the uh, catalytic converter alarm. Well, they're basically the same. Same kind of remote. Same kind of alarm. Except uh, with the catalytic converter, you don't get these uh, plastic ties. You actually get the metal bands to put around your pipes. It also comes with guitar pick, what I call it, and screwdriver. And the bicycle alarm comes with these stick pads so you can stick them. And uh, when you uh, tie them on with the wire ties, plastic ties, or... Um, the uh, one for the catalytic the converter comes with a, a heat pad, a heat shield, so you don't melt this. And they, they all have these plastic tabs here you pull out, because, uh, otherwise the batteries won't work. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to run this alarm on my bicycle again, show you how it works. Now they say you can stick it anywhere around your frame, but I prefer to have it hidden. And what I did, get a flashlight here. I hid it under my seat here, where it won't be seen too, too, too easy. In order to get that thing out, I got this uh, seat cushion here that I flop over, so you have to fight with that. Anyway, let me turn it on here. Now, if somebody tried to mess with your bicycle, bicycle, moped, e-bike, whatever, you'll first give them a warning. Let me try to hold this camera here. See? Then it'll start going off. Kind of like that's uh alarm tone that the one I got on my vehicle. I might change the one on my vehicle. Anyway, I got unlocked. Unlock. And it'll keep going off. You know, it'll stop. Let me take the bicycle. Let me take it.
not now, but if I try to take it again, it'll go off again. It'll keep going off. Let me shut it down. Okay, I just turned it off. I'm in the basement, so I have to worry about my neighbors. <laughs> anyway. They're going to have to fuss with the weather alarm going on. There'll be a, a, there'll be people around. They're going to be looking. You know, the thieves will get nervous and run. You know, the way I figure it. And I got links down below uh, on Amazon where I bought it. And same thing with my turn signal. You probably saw that in uh, in the beginning of this of this video here. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time. Thanks for watching.